I am about to paint this wall and I need to rehab this window frame and sort of dig into the channel and stuff and see what needs to be done on this window. Oh, hey baby. I've been meaning to tell you this door is not latching no. all the time. Sometimes it's fine, sometimes it's not. Um, there's a little bit of play in it, which leads me to believe we've got a loose hinge. So the good news here is we've actually done a complete door tune up on the Safari trailer, but we've never really dealt with um, this hinge. There really is almost no head left on this thing. I gotta spray him. I may need to get out the tiny drill bits and drill a slot back into this because it really just wants to round out. I'm gonna soak these in penetrating oil to see if it helps. While I've been working on these type of windows in here, and there are one, two, three of them, what I've noticed is they have a really poorly applied coating of tint. In order to get that off, I think I'm gonna have to completely take out the glass pieces, which I was really hoping to be able to avoid. Be able to get my electric drill to hold a very, very tiny drill bit. I've taken one of these hobby drill bit setups on the right and taken it half apart and actually put it in the drill truck. So the smaller little end will actually hold the tiny drill bit tight. My little hook tool has come to the rescue once again. I can get it behind the screw head and give a little bit of lift as I try to loosen the screw. You can see that I've drilled a little bit of a slot back into the screw so that I can get some grip on it. Pushing pretty hard on this, although my grandfather made the screwdriver, so I'd really like to not drink it. Mayhew Steel. Shelburne Falls, Massachusetts. I know that you wanted to get back to putting another coat on this floor, painting this wall, and then doing the window rehab, but we've got to do another thing first. I think it's worth um, taking this wall panel off to fix this hinge. Well, we have you to paint. take that wall. Yeah, I've got to get in here to get this hinge, so that's basically right in here, okay. and there's no sense of putting a nice clean coat of paint on this. When you're just going to be drilling I just out, have to rivets. Drill out the rivets. So okay. I'm going to do this first. Let's get started. I'm gonna leave this piece up top because you don't need to take it off. Okay. Okay. So that may be one way to access it. I'll just drop it all the way out. There's no point in fighting with it. It's all disconnected. So there's the empty hole, and there's one with a sealant and everything still intact. A bit hard to see, but here's our um, upper hole. No nut on it that we've taken that other bolt out of. And then this is the end of that other lower bolt, and it still is intact with a nut on it. Not sure what my strategy is going to be for this. There's really nowhere to safely cut it without damaging the hinge or the airstream body itself. Um, so I've got to figure out exactly what I'm going to do to remove it. I've decided the simplest solution for this screw that I just can't get the nut off is to go to the other side and drill out the head until it falls off. Then I'll be able to knock the bolt back through and onto the floor. Well, it's not like we're going to reuse that bolt anyway. No, it's, it's done. It's toast. All right, the approach I'm going to take to get the head off of this screw is to drill in successively larger bits uh, maybe three or four different steps up until the head falls off. The next step here is to just tap this once or twice and have the screw slide right out through. And there's the hinge. Ta -da! Let's go see what knocked out. Uh, we need to be really careful with this door for the next 48 hours. It's... Yeah, for sure. Yikes. Wow. Oh. But there you go. How are you going to figure out? what size those are. There's not a lot of material there. You can't fit a nut on them. They're sized in inches, and so there won't be much around the right one. If I can just go to the bolt sorter at the hardware store, I should be able to pick out the right size. And I can probably still see the threads well enough to match up the threads. Nice. Well, our flooring is coming, so maybe you'll be able to pick up the bolts then. I think it was a good idea to take this apart now, even though we're gonna have to be careful with it. If I think about it, I'm gonna go check my bolt sorter because I might just have them in there. 
I was able to get screws from the hardware store, so should be good to go with those. Took a minute to clean up these surfaces. I think they're a little bit better now. And so I'm gonna figure out hinge alignment, see if I can get some bolts back in there and get some sealant on. If I lift the door up, it will latch. And at the point where it latches, the screw holes line up pretty well. I can just look right down and inside the Airstream. So I'm pretty confident that I can get them at least marginally tight over here and have the door in a pretty good location before I come back and fully tighten the screws. I've got my two screws in here and I'm ready to go with my uh, Trempro sealant. What I'm trying to do is duplicate what was done by the factory, which is this seam seal at the edge of the door frame is sealed with something similar to the Trem Pro, what they used to use. And the nuts for the backs of these screws are sealed into it, and so they can't come loose, they can't spin, in theory. And I'm gonna put a little bit of sealant down and then tighten those screws down. So I've got the sealant in here, and so far these are just uh, hand tight. I don't have a screwdriver on the back side. It's a bit hard to figure out how to, with the door open, you can't get to the screws. It's a bit hard to figure out how to tighten these, but I'm gonna do it. Of course, this gets sealant all over the tools, so keep a rag handy. Not exactly easy with the um, having to go around the door to grab onto the wrench, but um, got these tight now, and I think they'll be just fine. Tested the door, and it seems to latch just fine. The goal here is to see no movement in this hinge when we operate the door, and I think we're good in that regard. And I want to see it close with minimal effort. It would probably close if I slammed it. That's a look at the outside uh, hinge now with the screws changed out. Pretty happy with how it looks. Pretty happy with how the door performs. I've been using it all day. So the last thing I've got to do is just put that wall panel back. 